seven incredible benefits of CMOS that you need to know today. CMOS is a superfood that is often pretty much overlooked. In this video, I am going to show you the health advantages of CMOS and how you can add it to your diet for better health, whether you're diabetic or not. Hey, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. As you know, I'm an endocrinologist. I'm a metabolism specialist. And in this video, I am going to talk to you about the health benefits of CMOS. A lot of people don't know about the superfood, but it has a lot of great benefits for your body. I am going to show you how you can add it to your diet and get all the nutrients that your body needs. Stay tuned. I was so excited when I found out about the CMOS. I had always wanted to try, but I wasn't really sure where to find it. After doing a little research, I found a local store that I thought they carried it. I went in there and asked for the caloric for, you know, hey, where's your CMOS, you know? And he looked at me like I'm crazy. You know, he, she, she goes like, CMOS? We don't carry that stuff here. Well, it turns out that CMOS is pretty hard to find. So after a few weeks of searching, I finally found an online reliable store called herbalvineyards.com that sold it. So I ordered some and waited impatiently for it to arrive. By the way, it came quick, it was well packaged, and it was high quality, so I was happy about that. I contacted them, they said, hey, you know what, why don't you sponsor this for us if you like it so much? I said, I'll do it for you. That's why we did this video, they sponsored this video. I'm not doing this video because they sponsored it, I'm doing this because I love this thing, but also thank you for them, for Herbal Vineyards, for sponsoring this video. So while I was waiting, I did some research actually myself. So people think doctors know everything, but uh, not really. I mean, I don't know everything. You know, they don't teach us the CMOS in uh, medical school. Well, I wish they did, but uh, they don't. So CMOS is, uh, I found that it's a vegetable, contains 92 out of 102 minerals that our body needs. Not only it does strengthen the immune system, but it also detoxifies your body, it increases your energy levels, that's why I'm so pumped today, it improves your skin's health and so forth. So in many ways, uh, many people also believe that it's like almost like a miracle, right? Or, or is it? Let's, let's get into it a little bit more, okay? Sea moss is a type of red algae that is often collected for it as carrageenan. Carrageenan is a thickening agent used in dairy products, actually. I didn't know that. Uh, in ice creams and so forth. So it is bought in raw form or as a supplement in the form of pills, powder, gels, gummies, etc. And I'll discuss the benefits and drawbacks of sea moss. So you can determine yourself if this prickly marine vegetables is worth including in your diet. So yes, as you may have heard, the health benefits of sea moss are a lot. Now, number one, first of all, it is good for your heart. Sea moss is a type of seaweed and it is a superfood on its own, okay? It contains more fiber than most vegetables, which is a good thing because fiber provides a variety of health benefits, as you know, and it can help you control your blood sugar and lower your cholesterol levels and minimize your chance of developing chronic conditions like diabetes, like heart disease. Remember, 80% of diabetics die from what? heart disease, right? So prevention is the key. So sea moss has also been shown in studies to help lower bad cholesterol. No wonder it helps the heart, right? Which is one of the common causes of heart disease. So it has been demonstrated to aid in the reduction of blood pressure, which is another cause for heart disease. So remember, heart, heart, heart. Your heart is the most important part that you have to protect when you have diabetes. Number two, it has the potential to help in the weight loss. Now remember, how much fiber there is in the seaweed, it's a lot, right? Because high fiber foods are satisfying, they may actually help you avoid overeating. So fiber keeps us fuller longer, which may aid in the weight management. It's not gonna be a miracle, but it's going to help. Number three, it contains a lot of iodine. Iodine is one of the most important nutrients for your healthy thyroid, but you can only acquire that through your diet because your body does not produce it. However, However, most individuals receive enough iodine from dairy, shellfish, or iodine salt in the USA at least. So in my practice, I check iodine levels if someone comes with like a large thyroid, like we call a goiter, as one of the reasons of the goiter is actually low iodine. Now, 
I get surprised how many people are still actually iodine deficient in the United States. Number four, it promotes digestive health. Bacteria, both healthy and dangerous in the digestive tract. They're all there, right? Because gut health is linked to your general health. Balancing out those bacteria is crucial to your overall health and well-being. Now, algae, such as sea moss, are high in fiber, and they are high in living bacteria. That means that it can aid in the replenishment of that healthy bacteria in your guts. Number five, it has the potential to improve your immunity. How does it do that? Well, according to one study, Atlantic salmon that ate sea moss had a better immunological response than the fish that did not. So, of course, fish and humans are very different, but no equivalent research has been done on human studies yet. So. We assume that if it helps the fish, well, it will help the humans. So that's why wild salmon appears to be better than the farm raised. A healthy stomach, however, is linked to also healthy immune system too. So remember, the gut is linked to immune system. So sea moss being high in iron and antioxidants, which help the immune system. So, and you know, iron can become toxic if you're already ingesting a lot of it. So you have to be careful there if you're taking iron supplements and taking the supplement and eating meat all the time which will definitely load up you with the iron so for carnivores something to think about okay so if you're eating meat all the time you can intoxicate yourself with too much iron but if you're on a plant-based diet or not eating meat that often having some iron in seaweed generally helps now everything in our body is about balance and moderation too much of anything can be harmful so pay attention to your micros guys number six it can help you gain muscle and recuperate from workouts. Well, that's my favorite one because I like to work out. So sometimes I will work out hard at 5 a.m. in the morning and I go to work and I feel like I need to take a nap, okay? But CMOS really helps me to recover quickly. Taurine, an amino acid found in the CMOS, is beneficial to muscle growth. So we acquire these little micro tears, right? When you work out, when you exercise and so forth, and the amino acids can aid in that recuperation. So sea moss also contains roughly around six grams of protein per hundred grams, making it fairly excellent source of protein for athletes as well. Just don't count on the sea moss alone to help you recuperate from your workout because you will still need to rest and eat the right foods and so forth. But you must ensure that you're getting enough food from hydration, you know, the rest and all that stuff, okay? Number seven. It helps preventing skin aging. Given all the skincare products on the market today, it can be hard to know which is best for your skin. Sometimes simple is better. But one option that has been recently gaining a lot of popularity is actually sea moss. Sea moss has been shown to contain a range of important nutrients and antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, the zinc, the iron, the magnesium, you name it. These nutrients help to protect against damaging free radicals and delay signs of aging and keep skin healthy and vibrant. Additionally, sea moss actually helps to promote collagen production and improve the blood circulation, further improving the health of your skin. So if you're looking for a natural way to keep your skin looking it is best, consider adding some sea moss to your skincare regimen. So how about the side effects. Let's talk about that. Supplementing with sea moss may have a few side effects. Boom! You know, I just pumped your balloon, right? Well, if it is overdone. Because sea moss is a product of its surroundings, its natural content varies greatly depending on where it is grown. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell for sure what is in it or how much of it there is in there, and one batch may be more potent than the next and so forth. So sea moss is linked to two major dangers. It's possible to take too much of iodine, which we already discussed, but when you have too much of a good thing like iodine, you may have too much of a negative thing as, at the same time. So, in fact, endocrinologists will advise against taking iodine supplements unless your doctor specifically advises you to do so, as uh, you know, they may actually harm your thyroid. If you have, for example, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, that's an example, too much of iodine can actually stun your thyroid and make it stop uh, working completely. So if you're taking CMOS, don't load yourself with other iodine supplements. Sometimes there are heavy metals in it. That's kind of 
weird, but heavy metals are known to be, you know, absorbed by the seaweed, unfortunately, from the water in which it grows. Now, although it is not dangerous in its modest doses, but you should avoid consuming too much seaweed as well. The same thing applies. Yes, we think wild salmon is better, but if they ate sea moss day and night, and that's the only thing they ate, they may accumulate a lot of heavy metal in them. Now, you may think that it has a bitter flavor and a texture. The earthy, the underwater flavor of raw sea moss is comparable to the clams and oysters, if you like them. As long as you like the seafood, you won't mind the taste of the sea moss much. Also, in a supplement form, it shouldn't have much of a flavor if you're using capsules, for example. Now, the slimy texture and fishy flavor of sea moss are not dangerous, but they're worth nothing if you're not into that. If you don't like that, you know, again, you use capsules, then you won't really feel any taste. Same thing for Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support. We have some awesome, super concentrated bitter melon and turmeric and curcumin and many more in there, but you don't have to taste them when you are using in a capsule form, and it does the wonders for your blood sugars. Two with each meal up to six a day, remember that. So this was about the advanced glucose support, quickly jump there, but back to sea moss. Aside from the taste, the texture of sea moss may turn you off. It has a slick, thick feel similar to aloe vera in the gel form. So if it continues to affect you, try switching to a different supplement. Is it safe to take the sea moss as a supplement? Well, according to one study, four grams of sea moss per day is generally safe. However, if you already have hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, you may want to talk to your endocrinologist first. It comes in raw form as well as a number of supplement forms, including like capsules, the gels, the gummies, lotions, and so forth. So it's entirely up to you which version you choose to use. It actually doesn't matter what you prefer as long as you follow the right dosing guidelines. However, whether you are just taking CMOS pills or a combination of them, keep in mind that you can't uh, supplement a lousy diet, okay? While sea moss may have health benefits, a well-balanced diet will be the most beneficial to your body overall. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video really helped you understand and learn more about sea moss and its benefits. I will see you in the next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can not miss any of our wonderful videos. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.